Okay, it appears we are back live March 1st, 2019, uh, about 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I am John Beatty, and I have on the uh, stream with me my buddy Ron, who will be monitoring the chat. Say hello to the people, Ron. Hello to the people. There you go. That's Ron. So uh, this is my voice, and you will hear, hear Ron. He's going to help monitor the chat, and if you have questions, he'll relay them to me so I can kind of keep my eyes on the paper as I'm working. And uh, hopefully it'll make for a seamless uh, stream. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask, and I will answer you to the best of my ability. So we have a... A request for a Will Eisner spirit. Denny Colt, um, if you're not familiar with the character. So that's what I sketched out earlier, and I'm going to be inking him now. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you were here earlier, you saw me finish up. Uh, <clears throat> let me clear my throat a little bit. Excuse me. Uh, Deathlock. Well, you finished Deathlock. Um, Sean's finishing some mashed potatoes and stuffing, and AG's finishing some spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah. Making me hungry. And I had a Wawa sandwich. They are putting <laughs> up four Wawas that I know of in this area. That's pretty incredible. We're going to be Wawa rich. Y yeah, you are. Is there enough room? Well, I guess there is, or they wouldn't do it. I'm, I'm sure they got to have some sort of, uh, you know, like distance between them, or it, it, that would not be a smart move on their part to they're put them spread too out. Close. Yeah, yeah, and they're, you know, if, if your area is like I remember, there's, there's room for, you know, to have that. It does seem like a bit of overkill, though. But I guess I'll say this about that. If they don't do it, someone else will come in and take the spots. And you know what that would be? Competition, right? I think all of their spots are uh, pretty good. Yeah? Well, you would know you're up there enough uh, in that area to to know where uh, a good you know good location if it's handy for you right i mean one is uh right next to the two main hospitals one's out on the west side of town towards the other hospital uh one's on west 40 one's on east 40 in silver springs area oh okay so they're spread out a little bit yep and there could be more. This is the floor that I'm aware of. Well, like I said, they probably saw a need for convenience gas uh, and bought the land to build there before somebody else, you know, like Racetrack or one of the other big uh, conglomerate fuel convenience things got a hold of some of that land. And now mm -hmm. they won't have much competition because, you know, no, they, they're going into competition because all the oh, areas they? they're all the areas they're putting it already has are like a racetrack or kangaroo uh, right near them. Okay, well, interesting then. The only one that's really void of any is the one right in downtown with the two hospitals. Right. So that's definitely needed there. I'll tell you what, the one I have here close to me when they did their, and it was it was all the month of December. The end of January, when they did the dollar coffee, that place was hopping. And you know people just don't go in for a dollar. Once they get them in for the dollar coffee, they're going to buy something else. I know I did. I'd go in and I'd be like, well, you know, I got a coffee. Now they they put the donuts right over Six there. By <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, the lady kind of told Jacob and I when we were getting like she I don't know. You. yeah well yeah 
because three was going to cost as much, uh, like it was like hardly anything, maybe fifty cents more for six or something. So yeah, she she upsold, but it was a smart upsell on her end, and you know. It, it like doubled my donuts for less than a buck, I think. Double I complaining. D- d- doubled my donuts. Doubled your donuts. Yes, that's what that's what your mother said. <laughs> I doubled her donuts. So how's Craig been doing? I've not heard from him in a while. I haven't either. The The last I heard was, uh, I think I told you, he was going home. The remodeling? To, yeah. Um, the bedroom set that they picked out and that they did bring the first one, apparently when they brought it in the house, they scratched it up. And he said, that's not going to cut it, Trebek. I don't want scratches on my new furniture by you guys. So he... Attention. Yeah. Uh-huh. He put him in detention. Oh, yeah. Principal Zabler there. Uh, <clears throat> put him on notice. And so... Um, so when they were bringing the second set out, he was on his way home to meet him there, to let him in and make sure that this bedroom set was not scratched up. Supervised. Good for him. Yep. Well, Jason's here. What's up, Jason? Jason, what's going on? How you doing? What was for dinner, Jason? Yeah. Jason, it's it's tell us what you ate for dinner if you've had dinner. Let us or, eat dinner vicariously through you. Or if you haven't had dinner, what's what is for dinner? So what other characters do you have coming up? Um, well, you know, I had a spawn listed, and that was for Eugene Kim, who is a friend of Sean's. And I actually, uh, I recognized the name. And he wrote me today to ask, did I get his email? And he wanted to change, I think he... He asked me, was it okay if he changed? And I said, yeah, not a problem. I think he wants to get a Bane. And I know one was a Spawn. His first was a Spawn and a Max. And I figured, okay, I'll do Spawn. I remember Uh, that. Yeah. But then um, I think he's changed it to, oh, I know what it was. He saw the Ghost Rider I did and wanted to change to a Ghost Rider. Nice choice. Well, you know, it's funny. I've had a few people say, hey, you know, if you don't mind, I really like the Ghost Rider you did. Could you? And it may be any other character, too. But um, uh, it's happened before where it's a character that maybe I haven't really worked on, but people have seen it on a stream or something and they're, you know, like um, Ken Carson had originally wanted a Two-Face and yesterday we got in a conversation and he asked if if he could change to Jog or not. And that may have been the one you missed. And I said, yeah. I said, I, I kind of like those... Uh, you know, like a, like a um, buckethead. N- no, like the the big beefy, you know, uh, villain type guys that are uh, fun to draw because they're like just so huge. You know, kind of like Joggernaut's just like a bullet. 
you know, his head's got that that big helmet on it, and then it's got that little cutout thing for his head, and you can really go crazy, kind of cartooning him a bit, you know. And uh, I, that's when I asked him. I said, "Hey, did you see the uh, the rhino I did for Ron by any chance?" Because it made me, for some reason, it made me think of that. And uh, he said, "Oh yeah, I was so jealous of that." So. Kind of interesting that you know you do something and all of a sudden you kind of you know you you get like a new uh, a new liking for something that you you know like that was maybe my second drawing of Rhino ever maybe my third if I think I you know there might be another one out there somewhere but I know it's not like. You know, I'm not drawing the rhino like like I am symbiote Spider-Man's. But so I get something like that and I, I do it and somebody is then trying to, you know, figure out something else that would be kind of different that I haven't done so often. And, you know, something kind of similar in a sense to to what I did as far as you know, really kind of capturing an essence of a character. Well, Jason said that last night was jambalaya and tonight was mm. a Subway sandwich. Mm, jambalaya. I love me some jambalaya. And I've been known to eat a Subway too. Jambalaya, that always reminds me of uh, gumbo. I know. Yeah, I always want to think of gumbo too, but no, jambalaya is the stuff with the rice and the sausage and the. Well, there's some gumbo. You can have rice in, right? It's not. I don't think it's quite a soup. It's more of a like rice dish with meats and vegetables. And I think my favorite is a, a chicken sausage uh, gumbo. Yeah. Gumbo or jambalaya? Gumbo. Mm. Where they, they Ch make like Ch a Ch soup. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I know. Chicken and sausage, you can't go wrong. It makes a good combo. Well, Jason oh. said the Ghost Rider was hot. Well, thank you, Jason. It was hot. Hot in the city. So do you think that you'd do that juggernaut kind of like you did um, that Bill Sienkiewicz type style? Um, possibly. I mean, it would definitely work. That from that like Hulk that I did for Dr. Kaz, it's little scratchy and has uh, kind of the I'll call them scribbly lines for lack of a better uh, descriptive yeah 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 that could that could work I do I I you know I didn't scan that rhino I should have because I do remember there was something I, I really kind of got into the the the, the the line work of it as far as like, you know, doing his little texturizing and stuff. And 
that that was a fun one and I, I, you know i had a real fun time doing his profile because i could kind of give him that like kind of a hook nose and that real you know kind of a tiny hook nose well you you have the original you know exactly what i'm talking about <laughs> i do have the original should I bring it back for you to scan? <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind that. All right. Of course, of course, I know we'll probably never get around to doing it. Jason says they have a nice Cajun restaurant up here in New York and been making it ever since. Man, everyone's in New York. My, I bet he's a friend of Sean's. Sean, Sean is says a he's here. We'll, he'll verify. He says he's a hu huge uh, Bill Sinkevich fan as well. He's fun to watch when he paints. Yep. Bill is, uh, I don't know if, uh, I've told the story of, of my friend with the Batman painting in, uh, I warned him. I said, are you going to watch Bill do it? He goes, Oh, I'd love to. I said, you're going to get nervous. Because Bill just attacks uh, a piece of artwork, and it it may look like it's running off the rails, and then all of a sudden, like three lines later, it just all comes together. It's just amazing. I've known Bill for a long time. Back when he was in Westport, Connecticut. And uh, I remember when he got his, he got a Porsche or a Porsche for you purists. <laughs> and uh, I was up at Zex and he actually had it imported because. I guess there was something, you know, that people in the know that, or they could afford the car. They said that the ones that you get imported direct are better than the ones that are like at dealerships here or something. I have no idea. It's It's been too many years, but there was something about that. I don't know. I could never afford one of those cars, but... Uh, I remember when he got it, uh, he he uh, he drove over to Zex, and the three of us were in a uh, two-seater car. <laughs> Ouch! Well, that was the I think I think it's a two-seater. It was the Carrera, I think. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't much room in it, but we all went for a ride. Sean says his story, how he broke into comics, is pretty interesting and just waiting in the lobby. Oh, yeah. it's It kind of reminds me, in certain ways, of the Steranko story where, you know, Jim, Jim talks about, I guess he... He, I don't know, I guess he had an appointment with Stan, and when he got there, the receptionist said, oh, Stan's not seeing anyone or something, and Stranko says, oh, he'll see me. Just tell him Jim Stranko's here. And that's when he, Stan said, what do you want, kid? You know, and he, as far as the books on the wall that were not, selling well and he took the shield book well jason wanted to know did he buy the one from seinfield seinfeld you uh, that show yeah by which uh 
Porsche. Or Porsche. Oh. <laughs> did it, did they do a show with the name thing? I'm not certain. I've okay. seen it before, but I don't know of that episode he's talking about. He 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 lost me somewhere there. He I need a little more information. I know the show is one of my favorite shows when it was on. And I watched all the reruns multiple times till I just really, you know, knew them too well. Seinfeld is getting sued. Mm, that was the episode? I'm lost. I'm lost, Jason. Oh, he was selling a fake Porsche. Oh. <laughs> I, you know what? I do not remember that episode. I mean, I bet. Oh, real life. Oh, okay. Wow. Now, <laughs> now I can laugh at that. Yeah. Wow. How can you sell a fake Porsche? Because he didn't know when he bought a fake Porsche. <laughs> well, wow, that's interesting. I had not heard that. So Sean said, I just found recently or recently found out that Steranko was the one who designed the uncanny X-Men block 3D text. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Steranko was amazing. Uh with such little work, like 33, 32 stories published and the impact he had. It's pretty amazing. Jason said, yeah, so Seinfeld is getting sued. So Seinfeld is suing the guy he got the fake Porsche from. It sounds like an episode of the show. It is. What do you mean the car's not real? I, yeah, I know. How do you fake a Porsche? Come on, it's not like a $10 bill you can counterfeit, signed uh, 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 Kramer. They just slapped the, the logo on a uh, Mazda. Yeah, they put a sticker on it. <laughs> George did it. Come on, who's going to know, you know? Steinbrenner. He used to have a lot of place down here in Ocala. Uh, farm ranch. Seinfeld or, or George? Steinbrenner. Hmm. Does he know Bob Kraft? Well, he may have before he died. I don't know. <laughs> I was just wondering. You know, I yeah, looked it's... it up. Uh, I was just going to say, Kraft is worth like almost $7 billion. Quite a nice, tidy sum to have. Sean said Seinfeld's Netflix series is pretty good. And I think he's talking about the uh, comedians yeah, the, and coffee. Yeah, and I haven't caught an episode of that yet, but I have heard it was good. I like Seinfeld. And Jason said the whole situation definitely sounds like an episode. It really does. I would almost, you know, it would almost be one of those things like, if it was made up, I, I could, I could believe it either way. Like if somebody started a rumor that he's just doing like a real life episode of his show to, to show people that stuff like this could happen, I would believe that too.
You know, the finales of shows are, except for, I guess, people say MASH. I just, when they say it's the last show, I guess our expectation, expectations go up so high, they just never seem to, the same thing with his finale. I remember watching it and just, it just felt flat. Now, I've I've seen it in a couple times on reruns, and it seems a little better in you know context and hindsight. Nice, big, beefy, smooth lines. Yes, trying to get that Will Eisner-ish, uh, you know. Trying to keep the, the Will Eisner flavor. Jason said it's an interesting show. He had an episode with Gary Shandling, which was kind of emotional for him. Hmm. For Gary or for... Jason. For Jason. And H- it, I, Yeah, I was going to say, you know, I just recently found out that Gary Shanling died, like, what, a few years back? Yeah, so HG's here. He said, John, long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> How you been, man? Seems like forever since you've been on a stream. And then he makes it two for two. <laughs> yeah. That's the way to roll. Boy, if I was uh, streaming late night, I I wonder how many live watchers I would get. Live watchers. Dun, 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 dun. That sounds like a little horror movie or something, doesn't it? The live watchers. Yeah, a little Twilight Zone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The live watchers. I should I should get that domain name. John said the show has been on since 2012. Seinfeld's the the new show. Guess that's what he's talking about. It's what we were wow. talking about. Man, they were talking about Robin Williams and stuff. He saw it a week or two after Shanling passed. Hmm. That's a show because it was only available on, what was it, HBO or Showtime or the Gary Shanling show that I, I only got to see it because I, I, I refused to subscribe to cable and pay for it. Uh, but when they, when they gave those free previews and I would catch an episode of it, that that is really a good show. And that's one of those ones that I would like to watch. I, I don't, I haven't checked. It might, probably not, but I was going to say it might be available on Netflix. Somebody in the audience surely knows. So, uh, <laughs> Kaz came back in and hey, once Dr. he Kaz. actually, once he actually wrote it out, I had to laugh and say, yeah, it's probably not such a good idea anymore. Once you read livewatchers.com, sounds <laughs> like it could be a bit inappropriate. <laughs> He said it's available 500 Five. bucks. <laughs> nice. That, that'll be your uh, 24 hour streaming channel you wanted to open. Up. There you go. Livewatchers.com. You just put the camera in the office and let it roll. It doubles as your security system. There you go. So Sean said the Barack Obama episode is pretty funny. They just looped the driveway in the White House a few times. And I, I did see that, and that was humorous. I got a, the kidney lady just texted me and said, "You home? You home?" And I I had to text her back and put streaming. 
What's up, Lex? We got Lex Digitals here. She says, you guys are funny. Lex, how you doing? Now, did you well, ever see Between Two Ferns? <laughs> with not, Zach Galakinafkis, or however you say this name. Someone could correct me on that. Not that I could tell you. It'd be YouTube, Between Two Ferns, <laughs> with this guy. He's, like, trying to do this uh, serious kind of talk show thing, and it's just hilarious. No, I never did see that. You know who I'm talking about, right? Uh, what was it called again? His, his name is uh, Zach Gala, Galakinafkis, Galifinakis. Okay, no, I don't know him. He's uh the the heavy set bearded guy on uh, the Hangover. Mm, you know, okay, I, I probably got the wrong movie, but I was watching on Netflix today, and I didn't finish it. The uh, the Korean guy, I think, or Chinese guy that was in that. Yes. It, it, was it was he in the hangover too? He played like Yes, he popped it was it was what was his name? Ch Chang? It's it's almost no, it's it's almost like that uh North Korean dictator's guy's name. It's kind of similar, the uh Young or Jung or whatever, I think. Oh, his his name is Ken. The doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But his last name, his last name is like Jung, <laughs> or isn't it like J U N G or something? Chow was the character name in it. But did you die? <laughs> <laughs> Ken Jung. That's it, Jung. Thank you, Jason. Yes, that's it. He has a, a Netflix comedy yeah, that, special up right now. That's the one I've been watching. I watched some of that today, and uh, it was cracking me up because. It's like he was, you know, he was a real doctor, real family, uh -huh. a, a, a real family practitioner. Yes. And he said, hey, Ron, it reminded me of the discussion we had. He goes, do you know how boring that guy? <laughs> and he was so far, it's been a good it's been a good special. He's talking about how much, uh, you know, how much grief he's taken from the the community of, of Asians for him playing that part. Yeah. I better not get into it because people think I'm, you know, making a judgment. You got to be careful. Yeah, no, that was just his show and that's what his opinions were. And he's I know. a funny guy. Yeah. No, I know, but. Yeah, so he was in The Hangover. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he, because I remember when you said that, that, you know, that he keeps talking about his role in the hangover was like, uh, that was like a breakout role for him. Um, <laughs> but he's like some kid. He wasn't a kid. I think he was like 30 or 35 when he did it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you've not seen it. Oh, I'm going to bring that. The hangover. Yeah. I have seen it, but it's been a while. Okay. That's why I don't remember it that well. Because they did a sequel, didn't they? Yeah, they did three of them. They did? Yes. Okay. Well, I know I haven't seen the third one. And I don't think I've seen the second one. But, okay. That's a little too hairy. That's not Eisner-ish. Let me uh, correct my drapery here and give it a... A little more boldness there. So did you finish the Netflix? Because I'm kind of in the middle of it. Oh, I did. And at the beginning of the show, when he was talking about his wife's name, and then he asked the, those girls what their name was. and Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And, and he was like, don't you ever be funnier than me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was the perfect answer, though, wasn't it? It was good. It was great. I wonder if that was set up, though. I don't think it was. Their reaction was pretty good, so I, I don't think so. No, I, I, I think, uh, I think they caught him off guard because that then, is pretty quick, you know. To the other side, wasn't that lady's last name also Ho? I think so. Yeah. Just she wasn't from Vietnam. 
Right. She was from like Saigon or, or not Saigon, uh, Singapore, I think. Singapore, yeah. The funny thing is when he was talking about he could say stuff to his wife in public and, you know, people would look at him and he'd go like, that's her name. You know? <laughs> mm-hmm. And then there's that guy, uh, I think he must have a new special out because I keep seeing it. The, uh, I, you'll know who I'm talking about. I can't, I can never remember his name. Bella watched him, um, at a hotel we were at. <coughs> the fluffy guy. Oh, yes. I think he's Hawaiian or Samoan. Iglesia? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. He he's not Hawaiian, but he said something about he looks Hawaiian or something or Samoan, but I think he's Puerto Rican or something. And he says, "I'm not fat. I'm fluffy." Yeah. And she was watching this thing and cracking up and stuff, and I was trying to sleep. And I think it was it. This was years ago when he had his first show out, and I guess it was like on HBO or I don't know. It was in the room that we were in. And uh, you know, I finally fell asleep. But then I asked her the next day, I said, what was so funny? And she goes, oh, this guy, you know, it's like, she's like, he was just so funny. And so when I finally saw that special, he was, he, he was pretty good. I enjoyed him. Yeah, he is funny. Um, HG says Gabriel Iglesias and he's Mexican American. And he's there funny as well. Yes, he is. And I think they gave uh, Chappelle a special on Netflix. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I've seen that one. And uh, Cat Williams. Mm Mm-hmm. The Ron White one. Yep. I like Ron White. I I just like the way he... uh, The way he carries himself with the drink and the... the, Is it the cigar or the cigarette? I can't remember. Cigar. It's just, you know, it's like... I don't know. It reminds me of something. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, not another comedian or something. It's just like, maybe just old, just an old school comedian or something, you know? Like, somebody that would, you know. I mean, I'm sure he probably drinks, but it's it's kind of like a, a good prop for him, too. He's like the poster child of the uh, Surgeon General warning. Exactly, yeah. But it did look like uh, in this special, you know, he looked like he was in some fairly decent shape from what I'd seen him last time. Like he had lost a few pounds and, you know, maybe uh, maybe he had exercised a little bit or something. Not that he was Mr. America, mind you, but I mean, just in general, you know, he. Could have been that nice suit he was wearing. Well, Ken Carson's back. He wants to know what he missed. Oh, man. You missed a Porsche. <laughs> Jason says, random question. How long on average does it take to pencil the head sketches? Um, I try to keep them at like a half hour if possible. But... um. It, it can go over. So I, I, I would like to do them start to finish in an hour, but it seems like it's more like two to sometimes uh, going into three. So.
Oh, and I missed a question from Lex. Lex Digital says, have you ever been to Australia, John? No, I never have. Uh, closest I've been is the Philippines. Green Lantern. Well, guys, it's time for me to head home. I'm glad I had time to pop in. Yeah, thanks, GL. John, as always, such a joy to hang out when you draw. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. You too, HG. Yep. HG, take care. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Jason said okay. He was just curious. Oh, no problem. I I, I got no problem answering questions. Um I'd rather I'd rather answer questions that people ask myself than have other people answer them for me. <laughs> Oh, you don't want me answering them. I'll just make crap up. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> it takes him 97 minutes. 97. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. to the minute. And if, it, if he's done faster, he'll put in the extra minutes to make it 97. <laughs> Shading. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I will say, I don't think the spirit is going to get splatter. I don't think he calls for it. He's kind of not like a dark, grim character. And I, 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 I just don't, I don't know, we'll see. But I, I'm, I'm thinking he might be one of the ones that could, I, I, I like me some splatter, just like everybody. I'm I'm a fan of it, just like all the other fans. But uh, just the overall theme of it, it's just so clean. Well, I'm gonna get the big brush out and scrub in a little background. I think that's why I didn't, you know, I I, I kind of chunked up the border so I can. In fact, I need to do it um, underneath the ear so I can not have to be so timid when I get around this part. I'm going to kind of do a uh, vignette type thing around him, you know, just kind of a, well, I, I always say this and I always like chicken out the last minute, like, you know, leave some of those areas, you know, it's kind of like a, a nice portrait painting when they do the background. You've heard me talk about it before, Ron, and then I, I'm i like, eh, I'm just going to make it black. It's all black. Yep. Because I don't like the shapes or something. And that happens. But see, in a painting, I could, you know, go back over it and pull out stuff. But when you're working in black and white, there is not that uh, that forgiveness. Then that's when you go into the Wallywood, when in doubt, black it out. Like, see that Mr. Freeze that you have, I think I nailed the, uh, the black and white shapes on that. I think it's a matter of just doing it and letting go, not fussing over it. It's it's kind of like this. this it's kind of like every problem I have, Ron. It's like with the watercolor, where watercolor is a medium that you don't control it. It controls itself, and it does what it's supposed to do, and that's the way, you know. And I fought that for a long time, and then when I finally got to the point to where I was comfortable just letting it go. And I kind of quit doing the color stuff for a while. I mean, I do have some pieces that are coming up that I'm going to get back to it. Cause I really, I was, man, I was really enjoying that watercolor stuff. 
It was very vibrant. Oh, I, I, every day I don't get to do it. I'm like, oh, there's another day I didn't get to, to experiment with paint and color. But, you know, hey, I will get back to it soon as possible because I'm, I'm really wanting to to feel that uh, that paint move around again. Well, Lex also has a random question. Okay. Have you inked, drawn Mortal Kombat characters? Uh, no. Not that I am trying to think. I would have to say no. Now, Lex, are you from Australia? Is that why you were asking John if he's been there? Oh, sure is. Hey, that's interesting because uh, Ryan is from Australia. Well, he's not from Australia. He lives there. He's actually from the States. Yeah. And he just hasn't. Uh, he's He's been kind of sick, he said. He wrote me an email um, a few weeks back and said he's been catching the replays, but hasn't been feeling too good. So, Ryan, if, you, if you're watching, hope you get to feeling better. Well, Lex said that's why it's hard for him to catch a dream. He's either at university or sleeping. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Uh, hope you're watching the replays when you can. Unless your studies are taking up all that extra free time you might might have had. Well, I'm sure if not, you can uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit the... Uh, bell for the alerts and that will always let you know when John's up streaming live <clears throat> and it also well it won't do this but at least you know something was streamed live and it'll remain up so give mm -hmm. you an idea of although still even this week I got in a uh, I'm trying to I stream Monday right yeah, you did Monday and yeah, yesterday. Yeah, Monday and yesterday and today. So still three times, even though I had some... I'll tell you, it, the worst thing is, you know, just like that tire thing, it just really, like I said, it kills the mood for creativity big time. I said that with my teeth gritted. <laughs> gritted teeth. Gritted, went through it gritted teeth. killed my mood. It really does. I mean, I, I, I do have, Ron. I'm sure you will find this uh, uh, alarming. I, I think you already know. I, I do have anxiety and panic disorder. So, uh, part of my makeup is stuff, uh, and I guess it, to an extent, um, when you have those, I guess there is a bit of depression that goes along with it. I would have. I, <laughs> I know Ron does it. Ron's probably going, "Yes, there is a trip back," uh, but no, I, I'm I'm aware of it. But that's why sometimes my emotions, like it's it's not like that. I feel everything should go my way. It's just when I'm having a good week, and then I get that little monkey wrench thrown in it. I just like it. It 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 can ruin the rest of my week. It takes me a while to recover from. Uh, 
what am I trying to say? Help me out here, uh, buddy. You're, you're, you're. I don't know what you're trying to say. I'm, I'm trying to say that I'm. Yeah, because what you're is below. It? Yes, and you know, there's the A, A type and the B type, and the A is the one that just like shakes it off for easy and just goes with life, and I'm the one that overthinks and or. I think you might have that backwards. Well, it's one of one or the other. There's an A personality and a B personality. Yeah, I'm the one that. Uh, <laughs> whichever one that lets stuff bother them too much, you know, it takes yeah. it takes a while for it to. Well, Jason says he's always been curious of kangaroos. Lex said kangaroos are tasty. <laughs> Jason wants to know, do they box? I grew up on Looney Tunes. Lex said, <laughs> they do, yes. I bet they do, yeah. And I their kick see. will make you fly a good 10 meters. Wow. I guess I could see that. Now, did you ever see that video that came out of there? Um one of the roos had this guy's dog in like a headlock and the guy ran up and just punched the kangaroo in the face. <laughs> I think I did. I don't mean to laugh, but it was. Well, I believe kangaroos are actually fairly dangerous. I Yeah, Jason just said he saw the same video. I mean, you know, we got those black bears running around Florida, right? And they look all cute and cuddly. Uh-huh. So they <laughs> tear you a new one. Exactly. And they may just be in the neighborhood walking around. I, now, I've never seen one in my neighborhood or anything. I've seen them on the news. And, you know, you're, you're thinking, oh, it's gentle Ben. Leave him alone. And it's like, no, put that animal down and get him somewhere where... Everybody is safe. Drop them back out in the forest. Exactly. You know, Florida National Forest. It's like he wandered into town. He's scared. He may look calm right now because no one's messing with him. But that bear wants to go back to, you know, his natural habitat. Just let the professionals come get him. And, uh, you know, so they'll. Put a little tranquilizer dart in him. I know that doesn't sound good to some people, but doesn't really hurt them that I know of. Let me qualify that, that I know of. And put them back where they're going to be uh, not harmed by, you know, some people that may want to do them harm. And where they're not going to harm, let's say, some kids that don't know any better. And, you know, all they've seen is a teddy bear their whole life. And they think, oh, it's a real life teddy bear. Especially if it's a baby bear and mama bear is nearby. Oh, yeah, you did. So Lex said uh, that guy is famous for that down in Australia, punching that kangaroo <laughs> in the face. He said they can really slice you up. Um, so Jason wants to know how tall are they because he's 6'4 and he wants to know if he's got a shot. They can jump. Lex said, good question. I'd say about the same or even taller. Wow. That's pretty incredible there. Lex said, in his town, you see them every morning here in Byron Bay. Hmm. That's, they're like our deer. Yeah. Except our deer will run out on the highway and have you to have an accident. I don't know if the kangaroo will quite do that. Now, see, I kind of went black here, but uh, I'm thinking up top it's going to, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I hope. If not, it'll be a nice black background. But I it, have, uh, sorry? I was just going to say it'll look quite striking, though. 
You have what now? Oh, I have uh, kind of an acquaintance who works at Kangaroo Farm down towards Tampa. Really? I didn't know we we actually had like that We're type of thing. Florida, we farm everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of true. I think Anacondas. It's kind of our weather, though, too, isn't it? We're kind of good for a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Jason said there are kangaroos in the U.S. Um, farmed or in zoos, yes. Okay, that's not going to make it. But that's looking good. Let me take a look on the monitor. Uh huh. All right. I'm down with that. Are you down with that? I am down with that. Looking good. Okay. Now, if I can just behave and leave that uh, B and just fill the black in over here. Lex wants to know, do you offer internships? Uh, I don't really need one. Um, I don't know. What, what are you looking to get into? Uh, Lex comics or I, I mean, that's what I'm assuming, but. He was thinking to go to America after his bachelor's in design. Well, uh, I know graphic design. I assume. I assume. Because there are, uh, you know, there's a lot of companies that do offer them. And some pay and some don't, so. And the ones that pay, you know, for an internship aren't going to be, you know, paying a lot, but it is that good experience. Well, he said, yes, it was graphics, and he's looking for illustration concept artist uh, yeah you'd be better off uh, contacting or getting a hold of somebody maybe in the California area um, that's where you're gonna find people that are um, 
maybe looking for intern uh, interns in that capacity. Okay, let me see. Now. Uh huh. You see what the problem here is, Ron? The hat looks like uh, it's got horns on it or something. I like the shapes, but. I think it's going to have to be black, which is you fine too. Couldn't put a little streak of white across the top for a nah, lighting border. Nah, I'm I'm not much into that. If anything, I would do an ink wash. But I I think I think just on the boldness of this, I think a black is going to. I kind of had. Go ahead. Jason says, the black background looks awesome. Makes it really pop. Yeah. Ken Carson uh, says, it's amazing what a black background does to an image. I'm, I'm a fan of, of black backgrounds also. Um, and this one, I kind of thought about it to begin with, but I thought I would try, even though I didn't have that much room to kind of do. Well, like the uh, the death lock, you know, I've got like some open areas of of white and stuff, but it's kind of a whole different uh, feel. This with the spirit, um, if I would have maybe done a different look, it would have been okay. If I would have had more of it surrounding, I think it would have been all right, but. Just to have it up there at top, it almost looked like his hat was on fire or something. We don't need that. We need something like that. Here, let me, uh, I always, it, it, it always looks, uh, cause it is, you know, when I put it down like this, you get the distorted look, see like this, <laughs> it's like, I'm Brainiac. But, you know, then like this, you get the full. And, of course, it'll be scanned and thumbnailed for the episode. So, And on this one, since when I do put that much ink on and I put a piece of tape up, sometimes that tape wants to get sticky. So I will use the kneaded eraser here as a, as a stopper. So you still get a little bit of the um, perspective of the slant of my drawing board here, which throws the view off just a bit. But I don't think enough to, you know, to make uh, that big a difference. But just enough to where, <clears throat> if I would tip it up, it would it would get rid of that. So there we go. So what did I learn? Deathlock takes longer than the spirit. <laughs> That's a good takeaway. Yeah. So, you know, combine the two and have a nice stream. Uh, I will show the Deathlock for those interested in what I did uh, first tonight. This is the Deathlock piece, and this was uh, Adam's, I believe. I believe it was Adam, right? Adam. Yes, it was Adam with a W. Yeah, Adam Weedle? W. Weedle? Weddle? Yeah, Weddle. I think it's Weddle or Weedle. Um, and I have.
Kev. Okay, Eugene Kim, Spawner Max, and then he changed. That's how I got left because he kept wanting to change on me, so I kind of held off. But now, today, he confirmed uh, Bane and Ghost Rider because he did order two. Uh, one, he ordered one on each uh, each offering. Good picks. Yeah. So let's see. I can check that one off and check that one off. Boy, I got to get some stuff mailed out Monday. I got, I got some. Uh, let's uh, let's take a let's take a quick tour shall we of what i have here that needs to be going out going out there i did my uh canadian accent so when mike cross watches this he'll understand you he he will yeah that was courteous well you know gotta treat my man right right All always right, so. above and beyond for your fans <laughs> there you go Got this nice web-headed Spider-Man going to Ashley. Got this uh, symbiote Spider-Man overtaking the web-headed Spider-Man, um, which I always do, and I think Mike does also, is I make the wide eye the same. Uh, it, it looks bigger, but it's the same um, proportion as the one with the black on it. But when you put the black on the inside, it cuts into this. But you see what I mean? The eyes I are they're 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 actually the same size. This one I really like the swirling, uh, you know, where it's like engulfing him. And this is for Brandon. This red skull. Don't smoke, people. It's a bad habit. That's why the red skull's doing it. I have Bullseye, all signed up, ready to go. I can't remember who this is for. The Punisher. Three quarter view. Um, ah, can't remember the name. This is the character of. I keep. I kept wanting to say Cam, but I believe it is. Yeah, I think it is Cam. I kept. It was no, Mac. Mac, Cam? Mac McKenzie. Mac. Yeah, McKenzie. And this is for uh, Sean's friend. Um, and I saw Sean did a little video of this too, and uh, it was really cool. A little quick speed action. And this is the vampire Batman for Sean with white and red splatter. Dig it. And that's that, that's what Ken wants. He wants him some. Oh, he saw that and wanted red. I just saw red. <laughs> Sling blade. <clears throat> That was one of the first lines of the film, I think, when, well, for Billy Bob Thornton's character. When he was talking about it, I just saw red. So, okay. Um, thank you all for turning out tonight. Uh, if you have any last questions, go ahead and type them in the chat. Um, AG, thank you very much. Lex, thank you. Ken, thanks. Jason, thanks. Sean, if you're in the room, thanks. If you're not, uh, thank you anyway for putting it out there for me. Um, and all the assistance you've been. Ron, thank you, of course. It's a pleasure. Uh, so, uh, I guess that will do it. Um... Well, thank you, Lex. I do appreciate that. Uh, I know I'll be busy this weekend. I uh, got stuff that, like I said, I got behind on and I got to catch up. Um, maybe it might be able to fit a stream of maybe that last character of... Um, well, Eugene has two, so I'd rather do his two like in one day. So I might bump one from someone from the that PM offering. I'll take a look at at those and see, because I think it'd be you know since I can mail both of Eugene's in one package, I think it'd be better if I I have a uh, Eugene day 
just make it both of them his. But uh, that could actually be one long stream since they're both his. But I will probably break it up because I think it's um I think it's nice to have the individuals. So I'm gonna quit killing uh, digital time here and say goodbye. And uh, if I don't see you all on a stream this weekend, uh, then definitely I will. I will be streaming on Monday. I, I could almost 100%. I better not do that, Ron, because you know, whenever I do that, something happens. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. Yeah. Uh, but you all have a great weekend, and uh, I appreciate the turnout and the support. And uh, on your way out, hey, don't forget to hit that like button. I do appreciate it. If you're watching this on a replay and you have any questions, there's a comment section down below here. You can leave a comment and I will shoot you an answer just as fast as I can and try to answer it as thoroughly as I can. So until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Thank you.